House Live at E3. I am Eric, and I'm joined here today with, uh, by rather, Ed and Audrey. <laughs> and Ed's going to take us through one of the shrines in the game. So, Ed, take it away. All right, here we go. We're going to, what we're calling uh, Shrine 3, which, you know, it's not really... It's not really a three Very or anything. It's just the third we're showing today. It's our so. third. Yeah, so I'm finally uh, I'm excited because I finally get to do some play here. Been doing a lot of talking today. <laughs> the um, so we're outside the woodcutter's cabin, and uh, I'm going to head up here. You're climbing his house. Yes, because I can. Oh, Ooh, so that check doesn't this look out. suspicious. This is one Sparkly of the, the great there. things about this game is you know you can really looking off in the distance you see all these places. These are places we can we can go to. And so I'm going to map, get a closer look here. Where were you? You were up there? I'm going to mark it on my map just nice. to be safe. So. All right, so I want to check it out. Well, you're Head just going to pass there. by that really suspicious looking thing? Um, oh, no. so suspicious. you know better than that. <laughs> I want to grab that pot lid, though. Can't That's let true, that you go. needed that pot lid. Right. You did. And of course, you know, the, these pop-ups that you're going to get for your items, you know, don't freak out. It's just, it just happens because, you know, this is the first time because we're all rebooting these things. So it's not, um, it's not going to happen every time, everywhere, all the time. So what's shaking up here? Just checking that we're hanging out. Is there something you up here? That other something? Side. There's Boom, there's sparkly see, leaves. sparkly. Did you see sparkly? You see that? Sparkly. Is that, is that, is that something? Examine oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Should we do it? Oh. Boom. <laughs> Cute. Anyone who played Wind Waker might recognize these little guys. So this is our this is our second one we seen today. Parks. This might be our. Was it third? Oh, I don't know. It's a Korra, regardless. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> They're all over the place. They're all over, They're all the, all over the place. They're all over the place. So I'm gonna head over to uh, this map marker that I've had. I'm grabbing an apple. I might grab two. That apple's mocking you. Don't let him get away with it. Yes. <laughs> Leap out there. So, um, did I pick up the axe? I don't know. I didn't no. grab the axe. Hey, it's a woodcutter's cabin. You know what would be good to get? The woodcutter's axe. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you could, you know, chop down a tree with any bladed weapon. You it's could. Not as it's not. I just, I just want it though. I want. This is my axe of you. So here we go. And the woodcutter's axe. You're so much less steely than I am. It's respectable. <laughs> so again, this is one of the really cool, like, sort of abilities to interact with the environment here. You see this tree? It's got a couple notches on it. You know, that's interesting. He already interesting. started at that one. So, and I'm going to take out my trusty, dandy woodcutter's axe. So I'm going to give it a couple thwacks. Boom. Nice. Oh, Check nice. it out. This is going to be cool. But it's also, it's not just, uh, so that was how you do it. Because I had my hips pointed the correct way because <laughs> I've been practicing Your my logging. Pretty, pretty <laughs> but, you know, I mean, you can you can fell these things in any, different, in any direction. And, you know, it's not, this isn't an automatic. Oh, that wouldn't so have worked for a bridge. That's not going to, that'll be the bridge to your doom <laughs> is what it is. And, and I always get so nervous. Oh, be careful. So careful. Walking oh, a whoa. timber tightrope. Uh, all right. You had it check under it control. Out, check it out. We had faith in you. Hey, guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. Come here. Come here. I want. I want to pull your sword out, man. Let me see. Oh. oh. That was almost Ooh. a really nice almost. dodge. Almost. Almost thank good enough with these guys. <laughs> no, it's not getting it. No, watch that not cliff there. You know what? Yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> at them. run. Ooh, oh. that was a I wish. Okay, come here. Your mama was a henox. <laughs> come here. Oh. That's uncalled for. It. <laughs> I know. Really. Taunting is unnecessary. Children might be watching. But fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll pick up some stuff. Yeah. Pick up the traveler's sword here. All right, cool. You're stocked and looking around. More apples. That's I'm cool. gonna switch to a faster weapon. That axe is powerful. It but is, it is but it's a little slow. So it's you know, slow. you can be a little yeah. lighter of doom there. So um, 
you've got these little areas, like, what's going on here? And you're checking it out. It's like, oh, okay, maybe there's a couple little, like, can I climb this thing? I can. You can climb almost anything. We can climb thing. almost anything, but there's a little, there's a it's little, steep. little plateau area over here. We'll check that out. So this is a very tall cliff. You're not going to be able to make it all up in one go. So you found kind of this resting spot okay. where Link is going to, uh, you know, re re-energize, essentially, and get his stamina back. Get your, get your stamina wheel going again. So check it out, and it's like, oh, well, there's a couple things up there and yonder, so maybe <laughs> that's the way we go. Uh, yeah, you can get up to pretty high places if you're clever about how you climb, how you use your stamina. Mm. Crafty, if you will. <laughs> Gotta be crafty. And get up here. I'm going to make oh, that leap, grab that rush nice. room, which I think is my favorite item name thus far. <laughs> and uh, look at that, we got little, little line of rush rooms. So mm. those rush rooms, of course, we're going to actually go into this in the next segment mm. uh, when we take an in-depth look at cooking. But if you were to cook that, it's going to have a special effect that's going to increase Link's speed for a limited mm -hmm. amount of time. So, for instance, if you were to cook this here, you'd actually be able to climb faster and make it up here with a little more ease. Which would be a way to manipulate your stamina oh, wheel. Be yes. careful. Without You're pretty low. Jump. Oh, yeah. See, you can oh, use your one last Love jump yes. like you did to yeah. get to that higher you plane you're trying to get to. Yeah. All right. So, from here, we would like to go to maybe, okay, I think we can make it up there. All right. Oh. I'm all about the starting jump, Ed. Got to get the oh, starting jump. Oh, I know. It's jump. true, right? Yeah. It is fun. Like, each kind of like climbing segment is a little puzzle almost. Like, like you have uh -huh. to yourself, yeah. You have to use your stamina, oh. like, uh, really wisely. Right. Because you're when you're at well. the very top, if you're about to run out, you can do that last leap and mm -hmm. actually make it up there. Even where, if you just have one little sliver oh, yeah, of stamina, you, sliver. you can sometimes make it up to right. the top. Just get that little, there we go. And Nicely. what do we have here? No patience, or not. Check it. Or not. Cool. <laughs> Try and oh, Daim. Yeah. Pop out a little Sheikah Slate. It's such a relief when you finally make it into the safety of a shrine after going through, <laughs> you know, God knows what to get there. Treacherous <laughs> climb. Well, relative. I mean, uh, some shrines aren't so safe. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. This little room is safe, though. It's a it's a little to breathe. Very safe, not ominous or foreboding at all. No. It's actually safe. Yep. There we go. And now we're going to get another yummy ability, another new rune yes. to play with. It's very cool how, how they integrated technology into this with the Sheikah Slate, with the runes, with the yeah. different functionalities. It's, it's a lot of fun. Get our tips and tricks here going. All right, here we are. Mysterious voice, mm -hmm. nothing to worry about. Stasis trial. So we'll pop our Sheikah Slate in there. See what we got. A little droplet of technology. <laughs> Highly advanced stuff here. Yes. Highly advanced. <laughs> oh, wow, you had to. I'm fired. So this is a stasis rune that it's giving us. And this is going to show, we're going to show this off here. Um, what this does, what this room will do, it will allow us to freeze certain objects. Um, freeze the motion, not mm -hmm. actually freezing, freezing cold. It'll just free, freeze it for a limited time, though, yeah. so you have to be pretty quick. So you'll see this wearing off, that gear. And then there's a recharge on here. So you're not going to be able to, like, immediately just pop back in that thing, and so what do we got here? We got we got a big boulder coming on down. Oh, we don't need so. our Indiana Jones moment. And Let's keep we're going. Gonna freeze that right there yet again, and but there's we'll come around. So you can also just take the stasis off instead of letting it wear out. If you want to, you can let just it immediately end it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I'm going to pick up this iron sledgehammer here. And, oh, looky over there. There's a little something, something actually behind that, where that boulder was coming down. Let's go check that out. A true hero takes every opportunity for treasure, Ed. Oh, you have to. You have to. Run! Let's check that. Yeah, we got... Little opal. opal. So that's going to be nice later when you need a few rupees, you know, yeah. just cash that up again. So we'll see here. You're so patient. I have, I've died so many times just <laughs> trying to go for it yeah. when I shouldn't. <laughs> so one of the other cool things um, about the stasis rune, it doesn't just simply lock in anything, any moving object. It doesn't just freeze its motion. You're, what you can do is pop into something, freeze it there, and then I'm actually going to switch Best weapons here. And you, what you can do is you can sort of get all this stored energy into it. <laughs> and once that stasis comes off, all that energy that you've built up gets released in whatever object you, yeah. you've frozen there. And it's now allows me to walk past. Yeah, cool. but you can use that in all sorts of creative ways totally. throughout the, the game. It's kind of wily, though. I've had that thing fly back and then come barreling in my face. <laughs> yeah. So you got to watch out. Well, that's the thing. The physics engine, you never know exactly yeah. where it's going to bounce. You have to bounce think about how, like, you know, this thing might bounce back and crush one it. So I want to get out. Like, yeah, playing with fate here. Is it just going to... Oh. No, because, oh, because it's <laughs> against the pillar. You're, that could have uh, worked out well, so much right. worse for you. We can... I just I get nervous around the edges here, too. So, But we'll go ahead and we'll... That's the thing, the physics-based puzzles, here. there are so many different ways to solve a single puzzle. Mm -hmm. uh, you can use a number of, uh, of your runes to solve the same puzzle in some cases. Mm. It's true. That's part of the fun, is figuring out your way to solve a puzzle, your right. way to progress in the game. Mm -hmm. He's been waiting this whole time for you to steal his treasure. Yes. <laughs> You're not really stealing it. He's but borrow. It. Yeah. <laughs> Relieve him of his treasure. Yes. His duty is to He duty. can now be arrested, the, the ancient Sheikah monk, right? <laughs> The environment is just so, it's so cool. I love the ambiance. This guy's good at decorating. We need to find out who's the monk's interior decorator. Mm. He looked a little concerned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Like, what was that? Like, what what happened? Something? <laughs> Something happened. <laughs> Now he's going to go nap. Yes. The big nap. <laughs> Not the big nap. No. The medium nap. Oh, the medium nap. The big power nap. Yeah. Yeah. Take a nap. He deserves so it. Little. He looks a little worn out. He earned it after <laughs> many, many years of being in that one pose. It's true. That, that whole time. Just, it's insanely just, yeah. flexible. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll come on out of the shrine here. And we've mentioned this before, but these runes, they're not just for use in the shrine. You can use them to do all kinds Ooh. of things in the world. Like, like this. So check this out. So there's this massive boulder here, and ooh, peekaboo. There's a little something, something there, too. How dare it block this treasure from right. us. Right. So I'm going to put that stasis lock on it, and let's, <laughs> let's get this thing. Oh, come on, Ed, you can do better than that. Yeah, oh, get, get away. Ooh, that was pretty good. Watch it. There oh. it goes. Yeah, that was a pretty good launch. What's cool Where? is you could launch that at a group of enemies and just wipe them out. You can yeah. use it in so many ways. Oh, that would be sweet if there were enemies like right on the level. <laughs> <there. laughs> or flying like it's just an eagle yes. or something in the sky. Yeah, you can't see it, but you killed a bunch of things, I'm pretty Probably. sure. Pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> We'll get our treasure Ooh, chest. Nice. A nice traveler's bow. So this traveler's bow actually has kind of a special power to it as well. Yeah. So it's a stronger than standard. Mm -hmm. And you have these kind of, uh, yes, you have these uh, different uh, weapons, but not everyone is the exact same, even if the name is the exact yeah. same. Right. 
They still uh, have different abilities. All right, so I think we're moving on to the next segment. Yeah. Um, and that segment is going to be uh, another Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild segment. We're going to take an in-depth look at uh, hunting and gathering. So stick around. <laughs> 